Hey, y'all, I want to talk about this drink. I'm drinking this stuff right here. I, ain't, I shouldn't say I'm drinking. I'm sipping. This is when he said fireball. I thought he was talking about some smoke. I said, I'm a nurse. I can't be smoking no uh, weed. I can't get that all up in my system. But he was talking about cinnamon whiskey. It's like a cinnamon schnapps. But it is so good. It's, it, it's like mouthwash. It's like you're brushing your teeth. Like it's doing a job. And it, 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 to me, it's leaving my mouth clean and all that. But it's pretty good. I like it. That's why we're doing public beaches. I like it. Look at my husband. Why are you looking at me like that? Why are you looking at me like that? Want to see this? But anyway, um, yeah, it's called Fireball, and it's called uh, the whiskey stuff. It's pretty good. I like it. They have to, man. But um, he over there barking next to my husband. Let me see if y'all can see. Oh no. Well, yeah, the dog, y'all, the dog, the dog is real. Well, I, I should do a twerk for y'all, but I can't because I'm around all these men. That, Mom, this might get mad at me, yeah. I'm not making him mad at me, but whatever. But yeah, I like to keep it real, 100. I'm going to go to the hood, and I'm going to do some interviews out there, too. Like, yeah. Like, what? 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 Now, work that one. Let's stop thinking of this E-40 sound. Not twerk, 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 twerk. <laughs> Anyway, y'all, I've been around too short. I've been around them all, and I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to do some interviews with his ass. I'm going to get him on some on some videos, too, y'all. Y'all know I am. You know I am. I know where that nigga be at in the old town, in the OAC, OAK, L-A-N-D. But I'm in Y U B A C I T Y U B A C T. I'm over here feeling myself. <laughs> he laughing at me because he know I'm over here on one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm I like clean fun. This is the kind of fun I have. I, back in the days, in, you know, teens and twenties, I was on some eight ball and some brass monkey and some all that. And I did do some crazy shit. But thank God I'm on some new crazy stuff. And, and I, you know, I like it this type of fun better than I did back then. Thank God they ain't have no camera phones out. Woo, we barely had you over here choking. <laughs> we had a beeper. But can you imagine if they had cell phones out back in the day? Woo. Oh, no. I'd be no. Locked up. locked up. It's all bad back in our time. We had clean fun, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> you got the big eyes. But. Hey, man, if they had some cell phones out back in the day, I'd have had a reality show for shizzle back then. <gasps> yeah, I would have had a, whoo, it's all, I'm telling you, if they had cell phones. <laughs> My boy said he had a porn site. If he had him a reality, a, a cell phone. Woo, y'all, this generation, y'all generation, y'all got the tools. But shit, I'm, I'm ahead of some, a lot of these young people, because I got, YouTube, I got Etsy, I got Google, I'm on SoPiffany.com, what am I, on Hair Piffany, I'm on Facebook, I'm on all that, I'm on Tumblr, find me, Abina McKenzie, you got it, you know my name, just look it up, that's all you gotta do, just look it up, and you gonna see the 411, but again, man, if I had a cell phone back in the days, whew, there's a lot of things I did that I shouldn't have did, and I'm glad it's back there in the past. I'm glad it wasn't no cell phones. Hope to God don't nobody come up with no pictures when I run for the president of this world one of these days. It's going to happen. I'm going to get somewhere because I'm all around this positivity. I'm, I'm going to get somewhere because I ain't supposed to be poor. I don't like being poor, and I don't want to be poor. And I told my mama, why we poor? She beat my ass, y'all. She, she told me I was acting to, like I was better than her, better than people. She, you know? Some people don't know how to handle the goodness of life. You know what I'm saying? They think they're supposed to be. They think they're supposed to be poor and down and all that. I'm, you know, and it, it, God meant for us to enjoy life and have fun. God didn't put you here to be suffering and to get hurt and to get beat and to be cussed out. You're supposed to have life supposed to be fun and about longevity and healthy and prosperous. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to be loved. That's it. Those are the two things you deserve in this love. I can't in this life. I can't never say 
you deserve to be rich and all that. That's not for me to call, but I do know you deserve to be happy and you deserve to be loved and you deserve to live. You do deserve to live. Don't put yourself in a position where you can be hurt and be around people who can hurt you and you know, mom, stop hurting your kids. Don't cuss your kids out and all that and calling them names. You have no business doing that. You have no business harming your children and allowing other people to harm them. You, your job is to protect them. You better do it because it's going to come back on you in an ugly way.